Good day everyone, my name is Janetta Stein and I am a senior research software engineer at Newcastle University in the UK. In 2021, I attended a collaborations workshop, which is an annual event organized by the Software Sustainability Institute. During the workshop, we explore problems and solutions. And on the last day, which is a hack day, we try to implement solutions to some of the problems. This is how Carpentries Offline got started. The problem we faced was how to run Carpentries workshops in areas where there is limited or no internet access. And this is what we came up with. And by the way, we won the Hack Day first prize and a few months later, I was awarded an SSI fellowship to develop the project further. To start with a bit of background, Raspberry Pis are credit card sized computers that were originally developed for educational purposes. But don't let the size fool you as they are quite powerful. From the third model, they have onboard Wi-Fi an Ethernet network port, four USB ports, HDMI display, and the latest models, the Model 4, have up to 8 gigabytes of memory. The Raspberry Pi 4 sells for between $35 and $75. Now you don't have to use a Raspberry Pi, you could in actual fact use any available computer. But we are focusing on the Pi because they allow us to package everything that you will need to run a workshop on less than a 16 gigabyte micro SD card. All you as an instructor will need to do is to download a somewhat biggish file, about 5 gigabyte from the internet, and write it to an SD card, put the SD card into the Pi, and you are ready to go. You can now stick the Raspberry Pi in your pocket and run a workshop just about anywhere. If you want to, you can put the Raspberry Pi in a nice case which you can either buy or 3D print yourself. So here is how it works. Usually, our learners will connect their laptops to an access point. For example, you might know EduRome for when you travel to different universities. When you connect to the access point, you will be on the university's local area network. The access point connects to the internet and somewhere on the internet there is a server that has all the Carpentries web pages on it and of course links to GitHub that serves our lesson material. Now if that WAN connection breaks for any reason, we are cut off from the internet. You could potentially use your phone data, but that could turn it out to be quite expensive. So what we do is to replace the university access point with a Raspberry Pi. On the SD card of the Pi, there is a website with all the learning materials and downloads that you will require to run a workshop. Your learners connect to the Raspberry Pi, which they will see on their list of access points as Carpentries Offline. Once connected, they can then navigate to Carpentries Offline homepage, where there are links to all the software and learning materials. If you are interested in a project, either to use or to help develop it, please do get in touch with us. We have monthly meetings, a Slack channel, and a Git repository with all the scripts required to create an SD card image. We also have a website that needs a lot of work, and that is a hint for any designers out there to come and help us. I am working on an instructor's onboarding lesson, which will be available in the incubator and that is to help instructors get familiar with the Carpentries offline technology and how to use it for during a workshop. Thank you very much all for listening. I hope I'll be seeing some of you at our next meeting.